Okay, in this week's video, um, we're going to look at boots. Really, really important part of uh, your kit. Um, and obviously, it's going to get you from A to B. So, let's have a little in-depth view of looking at boots and some tips on buying boots as well and how to look after them. Okay, my personal favourites, the Scarpa Rebel Lights. You've probably seen on at least 80-90% of my videos with these on my feet. Absolutely cracking pair of boots. Um, if you're on a budget and you're looking for just one pair of boots that potentially could do everything, these would be definitely in the top three. They're absolutely superb, really, really good. Now, just one thing, when you when you are buying boots, um, you find with a lot of these and, and the Sportivas that I've got in the Innovates, which I'll come on to in a little while, is they're normally a size bigger or at least half a size bigger. Um, I'll come on to it a little bit more in the video, but um, yeah, when you when you're fitting your boots, just you know look at the sizes because they are they are quite different to obviously what uh, some of the boots in the UK for sizing. Okay, looking at these, um, like I said, cracking pair of boots, really really good. I've had these now for nearly five years. I've done my ML assessment on it when I've been guiding in the mountains. I've normally always always got these on my feet. The support. And, and the soles are really, really good with a Vibram sole on there. So these are a B2 boot, which means obviously you can clip a crampon on the back there so you can fit it to a C2 crampon. Um, absolutely superb. You've probably seen me in my videos with the crampons on these. I, I do like the snow and ice. Um, up Scotland, Ben Nevis, different gullies, a CMD, uh, Craig Meggie. I've, I've absolutely been all over in, in these Scarpa boots. Absolutely superb. Superb, sorry. Really, really cracking pair of boots. Um, now, what I pair them with and what I try and use is the correct socks as well, which is really important. So when I went shopping for these, I took some socks very similar. I've, I've only had these a couple of years, these socks. But if you're going out and you're going to get some boots fitted for you, then make sure you're taking the correct socks with you as well. I'll come on to the other socks that I've got there as well. I've got an array of different socks, which I'll show you for, for what I use for me, for me different boots and stuff. But really, really important. So just finishing off with these boots, obviously... Probably one of my number one pair of boots for going out. Each time I go out and, and I've got um, a locker with all my boots in, uh, which you might have seen before in my, uh, in my storeroom here where I keep all my kit. And I normally always end up reaching for these. Um, I haven't recently, mind you, I have had a little bit of a change of heart with the Innovates, which I'll show you a little bit in, in a while for the summertime. But in the winter time as well, they're so light. They're really, really good, honestly. Cracking pair of boots. And, and I highly rate them, to be honest with you, in the sole on them seems to last for ages as well. I had a problem a few years ago with the very first pair that I had where they had a slight crack on them. I got in contact with Scarpa. Their customer care was absolutely superb because they, their, their factory's not far from where I live in the northeast. I took them through there and they changed them straight away for me. So yeah, really, really good. Right, let's have a look at another pair. Right, okay, st st sticking with Scarpa, um, my second pair of Scarpas that I use is the Scarpa Manta Pro GTX. Unsure if you can still get these. I got these a couple of years ago. I was in a shop. There was a really, really good deal on these. So pulled the trigger, bought these. A couple of reasons why I bought these is for more extreme conditions in Scotland when the wind is really, really harsh. And I do suffer from obviously getting cold feet as well. So I bought these. I'd been to Craig Meggie one weekend. I really suffered with the uh, Scarpers. I mean, the conditions were brutal, to be honest with you. I was out, done about 15 kilometers. I was out nine, 10 hours. Feet were wet and cold, so I just wanted to step up. So I've got these. I've had these out three or four times. Not fully, fully tested in Scotland yet. Been in the Lake District with them. Really, really good, actually. A little bit heavier, so you can feel the weight difference after picking these up, obviously, from the, the Scarpa Rebels. So these were about 1,700 grams. So it's a, it's, a, it's a lot more, especially when you see some of the other boots I've got in a minute. However, if you want warmth and, and you're going through some really brutal snow conditions, these are really good socks so pairing the right socks so again i'd have a, a pair like that on my feet a pair with the, these are the salomon ones um i got a good deal on these actually i bought two pairs for 
I don't know, 12 or 13 quid, which I thought was really, really good. And I normally put a really thin pair of socks on under them. And that, I found, works really, really well on those because they're slightly big. I think these were 10 and a half, but they're quite um, a wider fit for me. I've got narrow feet, and most scarper stuff do fit me really well with, with narrow feet. So that's a scarper man, man air pros and um, like i said i don't know if you can get these anymore i think these have been replaced with the uh manta text i think it is um but yeah class class bit of kit obviously maybe a bit extreme for the summer but in winter time and if you're going up snow in in bits and pieces definitely and you've got obviously these are b2 rated so you can get the c2 crampons on the back there which clip in really good cool so that's the manta tech pros let's have a look at the uh other boots i've got Okay, uh, next up, Les Sportivas mid GTX fours. <laughs> really, really good boot. Um, sorry, I'm struggling with a bit of hay fever today, so I'm sniffing. Um, really, really good boots. So you probably see me on the West Highland Way with these ones, um, and these were really good. However, my mistake with these was they're too small for me, which I found out on the West Highland Way. These were ten and a half. I should have really got eleven. Um, I had problems with my big toe on my right foot. The big toe went black because it was obviously hitting the top of the boot. Um, I paired these up with with quite a lightweight sock, which you've probably seen. is the thousand miles socks, which I've I've used quite a lot actually, and these are really good value. You get two pairs for twelve or thirteen quid, which I don't think is too bad for socks like this. I like them because they're quite tight fitting. I don't like socks that are baggy. I like really tight fitting socks, and these are really really good. I'll come onto those a little bit more actually. Um, I'll do a little separate bit towards the end of the video on socks. So coming back to these, Gore-Tex lined, really, really good. Um, so these are your boots. So if you're out, I don't know, dog walking, you're doing some lightweight stuff. I mean, hiking, absolutely perfect. Duke of Edinburgh stuff, really, really good would be for them. So I use them a lot when I'm, when I'm teaching Duke of Edinburgh. I reach for these. The only downside of these is the waterproof of these boots deteriorated quite quickly, I thought, after probably six months and the tread wears down quickly. So I don't know if you can see that on the uh, on the video there, but the tread already starting to go on these. But I know um, from, from watching other videos that the tread does go quickly, but the toe box and climbing zone on these are really good. So for scrambling, really, really rated these. Um, I think I was on Blen Cafra, and I've done a small video, and I had these on, and they're really, honestly, the grip on these is superb. When they're dry on the rock, really, really good. So, yeah. Um, Probably, I'd rate these probably 8 out of 10, to be honest with you. Comfortable, mega, mega comfortable. But my my failings with these was getting the wrong size boot, which I found out after 100 miles. <laughs> but yeah, they, these were good on the West Island way. Like, like I said, the only downside was we had all that rain. The, the waterproof of these wasn't good. However, they dried out quickly, so you'll probably see on the video. I'll, I'll leave a link to that video below. Um, and obviously using these boots, but they, they, they were good. I just wish I'd have took me Innovate. I should have had them before and I would probably wore them. But yeah, good boots. Um, I'm, I'm not going to knock them and, and I'd, rate in, I'd rate it and obviously buying these as well. Um, so if you're looking for a pair of boots where you're not going to go too extreme, you're not going to go out in the winter and you're just looking to get out in the lakes on some, on some bits and pieces but nothing too serious. Really good, definitely. Okay, let's have a look at the Innovate. I've saved the best till last. I've only recently bought these, um, two or three months ago actually, I think I bought these. The Innovate Rock, um, let me get this right, Rock, Rock Light Pro 400 GTX V2. I'll put, them, I'll put it up on the screen exactly what they are. Um, the weight of these is, is absolutely unbelievable to be honest with you. So these are just weighing in at uh, 800 grams. So I think my Les Sportivas, a 900 and these are 800 so there is there is there, there is a difference obviously when you compare these to the scarpers which are 1750 or whatever they are the manta tech pros these are you know really really a lot lighter um so these are like a hybrid so these are in between like a trainer and obviously a boot um pretty new out as well so this part here does feel like a bit of a trainer to me when i'm wearing them but then you've got the support of the ankle around the side there absolutely superb so i went out into lake district i've done three days solid i was on a, a little bit of a charity challenge really put these through their paces straight out of the box um i think a couple of weeks before that i've done 15k in the mountains these were amazing straight out of the box like comfortable fit the other pair of boots i've got there apart from the la sportivas the, the scarpers needed a little bit of breaking in 
but these are literally straight out of the box, ready to go. I'm holding them in my hand here, they just feel light as a feather. So yeah, I was in the Lake District, I've done, I've done about 90 kilometers over three days, really put these through their paces, went down some scree, which was a massive test for these, to be honest with you, and the support was really, really good. So these are a size 11. So when I went to get these fitted, um, really good shop where I bought these from, they, they really helped me out actually in the fitting. I tried on three different pairs, so I tried on a 10, a 10 and a half, and then 11. Ten and a half, I could just feel my toe at the top there, and I thought I don't want um, to go down the same route as a Sportiva. So I went for eleven. I was like, oh, eleven. I'm never ever a size eleven. But do you know what? That was the best decision ever. Just getting them slightly bigger, where your feet do swell up. Um, so far, have been amazing. And when I was out in the lakes, I fell into a bog, and and these were saturated. And it wasn't through fault of them. It was me falling into a bog up to probably up to my waist, and they dried out really really quickly as well. So the difference is is if you get obviously a bigger pair of boots then just be mindful that they will take a lot longer to to dry out but if you're doing a long distance challenge of a walk wow these are amazing absolutely superb so yep really good so far um i rate those okay um socks so you probably saw on the west highland way i used a thousand mile socks really really good i use these in the summertime I've got um, loads of different socks, to be honest with you. Um, I think socks are really, really important. Um, it goes with the boots. So I've got the uh, Darn Tough ones as well, which I haven't really started wearing yet, but I've, I've worn that a couple of times, but I'm going to give those a, a, good, um, a good go because I've heard some really good reviews about those ones. I've got the Bridgedale ones. So these are like the lightweight ones for trekking. Um, and I was using these as well in the winter time but they're just not quite tight fit enough on my feet, to be honest with you. And like I said, I do like I do like socks that are tight fitting on you. So hence why I've got these ones here. So a little bit of a, a short video there, just going through my, my thoughts on, on boots and socks. So if, if you're buying a pair of boots, remember to take the socks that you're gonna be wearing with those boots as well. And when you're looking at the boots, think what are you buying the boots for am i buying it to go out in the mountains am i buying it to buy, walk the dog you know that is a massive thing and when you're in the shop the staff you find are really really helpful in outdoor shops and they'll help you fit your boots correctly so getting the correct boots fitted for you is massively massively important